Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to derive the MOMI generating function or MGF for discrete uniform distribution. In the derivation process, we're gonna use the probability mass function or PMF for this distribution which is shown in here as just 1 over n, where this n is a constant. The random variable for this distribution has integer values from a to b. Now if we're looking for a derivation where the value of the random variable is from 1 to n instead of this a to b, that derivation is on another video and I provided the link in the description below so you can check it out if you are interested. So the derivation in this video is where the value of the random variable is from a to b instead of from 1 to n. Now for this n in here, it has a value of b minus a plus 1, where this b is this, and a is this. So now let's start with the derivation of the moment generating function. The moment generating function has a notation. This is the notation for the moment generating function, and in general, it is equal to expectation of e raised to tx where this x is the random variable and for a discrete random variable in here we have a discrete random variable it is equal to summation of we have here e raised to tx times the probability mass function which is in this distribution it is 1 over n. So we have here 1 over n. Then this random variable x has values from a to b. So we have here from x is equal to a until x is equal to b. Then this 1 over n is a constant expression so we can move it outside of the summation. Then let us do some transformation. Let y is equal to x minus a plus 1. Then from here, x will be equal to y plus a and then minus 1. Then let us substitute this for x in here and then change this x to y using this. So we have here equal to, we have 1 over n in here. and then summation of we have e raised to tx then for x it is this equal to this and then it is from y is equal to when x is equal to a in here y is equal to a minus a plus 1 or 1 so we have here 1 and then until when x is equal to b, in here we have y is equal to b minus a plus 1. So we have here until y is equal to b minus a plus 1. Then for this b minus a plus 1, it is same with this equal to this. So we can replace this by n. Then we can distribute this t to y and a minus 1. So this exponent in here will become t times y plus t times a minus 1. And then from algebra, we know that e raised to u plus v is equal to e raised to u times e raised to v. Then applying this in here, we have this 1 over n. And then summation of, we have e raised to ty, and then times e raised to t times a minus 1. Then this is from y is equal to 1 to n. Then for this expression in here, 
it is a constant expression so we can move it outside of the summation. Then from here it is equal to we have this in here and then over n and then times summation of e raised to ty. For this e raised to ty it is e raised to t raised to y so let us evaluate this summation of e raised to t raised to y so we have here when y is equal to 1 we have e raised to t raised to 1 and then plus when y is equal to 2 we have e raised to t raised to 2 And then plus, when y is equal to 3, we have e raised to t raised to 3. And then plus, we can continue doing this. And so on. Until y is equal to n, we have e raised to t raised to n. Now this is a series in a portion of a geometric progression. From algebra, we have this sum of geometric progression. And it has a formula. 1 minus r is to n over 1 minus r and then from here this is this minus 1 or we can have a common denominator 1 minus r So we have here 1 minus r is to n and then minus 1 minus r times 1. So we have here minus 1 minus r or minus 1 and then minus minus is plus r. Then we can cancel out this 1 minus 1 and then we have here r minus r is to n. Then we can factor out r from this numerator. So we have here r, then 1 minus r raised to n minus 1. Then if r is e raised to t, then this series in here is same with this series in here, which is equal to this. So now this moment generating function for x. is equal to, we have this, and then times this, but r is e raised to t, so we have here, e raised to t, times 1 minus e raised to t, then raised to n minus 1, or we'll just multiply this t by n minus 1. then over 1 minus e raised to t. Then for this, e raised to t times a minus 1 and then plus t and then it is equal to e raised to t times a minus t and then plus t and then we can cancel out this minus t and plus t then we have here e raised to t a or e raised to a t 
so we have here for this it is this and then times this let us use a square bracket 1 minus e raised to instead of t times n minus 1 we can have n minus 1 and then times t and then we have n times 1 minus e raised to t so this is the moment generating function for discrete uniform distribution so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe in my channel